What do you do when you're out of content? Well, it's pretty simple. You steal content. That was, that was my one shot, and I'm gonna roll with it. Here we go. FNAF quiz. Here we go, folks. Like, is the, is the, am I okay to... How do I, how do I know that I can trust all the, you know, whatever. How well do I know the FNAF lore? Here we go. Who is this? That's the man behind the slaughter. I, right, that's, that's him. Oh, that's, that's William Afton. I know that. Who are these people? No clue. I actually have no clue who, who this is. I mean, technically we don't, whatever. It's the Afton family, of course, of course. Who accidentally killed their brother when bullying him? Well, it's, it's the older brother. Yeah, yeah it's the older brother. I know this. What is the crying child's real name? Now, this is <laughs> this is debatable because I know recently on the FNAF subreddit, people were like, "Oh, it's the it's the jukebox from Pizza Sim." That's the crying child. Or the, uh, sorry, uh, they think it's the bite victim, but that's Michael Mike. What is this called? Was that the bite of eighty-seven? No, that's that's the bite of eighty-three. Mark, you dumb dumb. Who did she die? <laughs> oh, how did she die? I legit thought this said who did she die. Well, she it's not killed by being scooped. Not in a car crash. Not by her brother. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Imagine being killed by her brother. No, she was. Yeah, murderous and try. Sounds about right. I also love how this is taking fan art. Which, by the way, I don't know who created all this fan art. If it truly was this person that I totally know how to pronounce their name, or if this was taken by people, and if it was taken by people, then clearly, that's not good. <laughs> what did William do when his son died? Um, he made an animatronic version of him. No, his son's spirit killed him. <laughs> he murdered his wife, he killed himself. <laughs> Wait, what did William do when his son died? So the bite victim? I mean, I guess animatronic version, if you want to go with the theory that he literally put him back together, I'm guessing this is going to be based off of Matt's theories a lot, so if we're if that's what this quiz is truly based off of, I guess we got to go with this. Where did William place the dead children's corpses uh, in the <laughs> in his backyard? <laughs> Cremated them, stuffed them. I mean, technically, stuffed them into the zoo, but whatever. Why? Why did William disassemble the animatronics? Um. What's going on? To take his anger. You damn kids! To fix the reported smells. Yeah, because he was told to. To stop them from killing him, to experiment with their remnant. Well, if we're talking about FNAF 3, when he disassembles them, it's definitely not these two. I had to experiment with their remnant. In the books, the classic characters are used to make the fun time characters. Also, I know the comments are just gonna be an absolute crap show of lore discussions, please don't. <laughs> this is the main reason why I don't focus on lore on the channel anymore, is because it's just, people have their own opinions and whatever, but hey, we're judging this person and their quiz off of their quiz and their answers, so whatever. I mean, to be fair, it really could be any, any one of these. I don't really know. If we're going purely off of FNAF 3, it's probably this one. I'm guessing they didn't go into any of the books because apparently no one no one reads the books how did William die well William Afton he technically officially died in the FNAF 6 fire so I, I guess that one hey actual an actual drawing of Charlie that's nice who's Henry's daughter Charlotte nice how did Henry's daughter die uh Henry's daughter died because well Here's, here's the other thing, like, technically, you can argue that there's two, I mean, technically, there's probably up to, like, six versions of Charlie, seven, maybe, but really, there's the book Charlie, and then the game Charlie. The game Charlie goes to, get this, possess the puppet, if you couldn't tell by the drawing, <laughs> but I'm guessing this is going off of the game. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's going off of the game, so, William, yeah, Ooh, that's a nice drawing. How did... What did she do when she possessed the puppet? Um, <laughs> she let the other spirits inhabit the animatronic suits. That's, that is so similar to Henry's literal line of, I don't know how those uh, souls or something came to inhabit those machines. Yeah. Uh, who possessed Gordon Freddy? Cassidy. Uh, what attraction did William Sprinter get stuck into? Fazbear, Fra <laughs> Fazbear Spooks. The security dungeon. <laughs> hey, kids. 
come over to my security dungeon. Ah, oh, Jesus, bad bad friends. What happened to the building? It got burned down. Low budget, too many motors. <laughs> too many motors. Uh, hey, where did the circus baby pizza order and trucks go when the place closed down? They went to an underground look and we back up. And he just has them like propped up against his shed, his trees, you know, underground location. Who possessed Circus Baby? Elizabeth. I don't know who Laura is. I keep seeing them in the in the answers. What was the machine called that we used to remove the bad in them? I'm guessing it's talking about the hand unit, dude. Hand unit is the thing, right? Hand unit is a bad guy. I think people forget about that, but hand unit purposely tries to kill you. Right? He's like, go fast through Baloa's gallery. When no, you take your you take your time. Hey look, it's Michael. Who was the worker that got scooped? It was Michael. Gabriel, no. Axel? Oh, Alex. I thought it said Axel. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who the frick is that? Is that Eddard? Is that Michael's flesh that Eddard is wearing? There's a lot of because they were told to do this. Why did Circus Baby scoop him? Because she was told to. No, they wanted to hide, to feast off him, Jesus. What did Enner do when the body was run? Um, he puked himself up to find a new body. They hid in the sewers, they hid themselves in the house, they tried to fix him, scooping up, no, they hid in the sewers. Um, interesting. Why didn't he die when Enner escaped his body? Because he didn't try, because he survived, because his father saved him, because he was immortal. Um, yeah, I mean, technically he's immortal. Um, well... Uh, mm, mm, no, because he dies in FNAF 6, I think. I don't know, because he's immortal, we'll say that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What did he vow to do when he survived? He's going to come find you. To find his father, of course. Where? <laughs> There's literally a blender image right there. Oh, it also says it right there. Where were the remaining possessed animatronics found? They were found in the scra back alley. Back alley. The back alley. Yes. Uh, what did Circus Baby think you were when they gathered you together? They... A meal, a dummy, a gift, an enemy, friend, a puppet. What does this mean? What did Circus Baby think you were when they all gathered together? A friend, an enemy, a gift? A gift for us. That's what she says. No, this was a gift for us. You gather them all together in one place. Just like he asked you to. Who will she make proud? Her daddy. Oh, damn it, it doesn't actually say daddy, and that kind of makes me mad. What did Henry do to free the spirits? He did an exorcist. Nope, he burned them to hell. Literally. Well, one of them to hell. What did Michael do when the building burned down? Michael, he he also burned. Uh there was a there was <laughs> there was a way out plan for him, but Henry had a feeling that's not what he wanted. He had a feeling that he was right where he wanted to be. Henry was remaining as well. He was nearby. This place will not be who is he? That's we well, see, people have a lot of names for him. Come on, do you trust me? Everything's coming together. That's clutch trap, of course. Brandy Simp <laughs> who made the tapes. Um I don't think I don't think Vanessa made the tapes, did she? No. Because if she was trying to the tapes were made by someone who wanted to warn and get rid of Glitchtrap. Also, I don't know who the frick Laura is. Maybe- oh, wait. God damn it. If they are using the official name of the character from the Silver Parasol Games website, I'm gonna be a little mad because no one- I don't know, I'm gonna look it up. Okay, so the two females on the website were Gabriella and Tanya. So, I don't know who the frick Laura is. I'm guessing- I mean, like I said, everyone has their own opinions, but whatever. What happened if you collect all the tapes? Um, glitch trap will come to life, nothing, you will die, you will get a gift, you get a gift. You get some exotic butters for your troubles. I mean, I guess it comes to life. What happened to Willem after he burned to death? I like how he went from FNAF 6 to VR to back to FNAF 6. What happened to Willem after he burned to death? Um, Cassidy trapped him in his personal. Hell, what am I score? You're a big fan, but you might need to check on the new theories. What? I want the Afton family to play Monopoly and collectively kill whoever's winning out of rage? Give me Park Place a little. <laughs> what? I want. I wish I. Does it tell me what I got wrong? 
That's dumb. Okay, this is uh, facts of FNAF. There's 30 questions. We're going to blast through them. Who does Scott Cawthon think is the scariest animatronic in the first game? Bonnie, he had a nightmare. Oh, it gives me the answers in real time. What is Chica? A, a chicken, obviously. Oh, oh, it gives, like, pictures. Oh, that's nice. When was Five Nights at Freddy's first release? Um, well, if you want to get technical, t technically August 8th isn't its anniversary. I think it I don't know. I just, I, mm, technically the 8th. Yes. Most people, what is this? That's not FNAF. Most people accept the fact that FNAF's anniversary is the 8th, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't know. Um, technically it's not, but whatever. What software was used? Click Team Fusion. Oh, wait. Okay. I was wondering, like, how exact is this getting? Because I don't know. Who was the phone guy? Scott. Jonathan. That's right, guys. I am the phone... Hello? Hey, uh, I, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, no, it's 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 Scott, obviously. Can I get a picture? No, I kind of wanted a picture of old, old Scotty C, old Scotty man. Which character is most popular in the on- uh, It's Fox, no doubt about it. Come on, give me it. That's actually entirely what I was expecting. When was FNAF 2 released? It was November, oh, it was, mmm. It was 87 days after the first game. 10 to 11. Oh, shoot. I literally have been looking up release dates, too. Damn. Ugh, 10 to 11th. You... I don't fucking know. I'm not gonna look it up, though. 10 to... I think it's the 11th. No, it was the 10th. It was the 10th. God damn it, God. Technically, it was slated for 2015, but... Nah, no, Scott's a good man. When was FNAF 3 released on Steam? It was March 2nd know that. Can I see Springy? There he is, Springy boy. Which was the first time I'm trying to add a creator for the game? I... This one's tough, because I think it was Bonnie, but also I think it was Freddy at the same time. I'm pretty sure it was Bonnie. Yes, it was Bonnie. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, which characters will still attack you whilst weighing the Freddy? Uh, Foxy and the Puppet? Of course. I mean, technically. It, it's weird, because Withered Foxy is, um, just called Foxy in the second game, which is a little weird, but, you know, people call him with it Foxy. What was Scott Go? Oh, he was a... Didn't he walk in, like... Best Buy? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was a... Cashew? Yes, yes. Come on. Dollar General? Was it really a Dollar General? <laughs> I guess so. I kind of wanted a poorly photoshopped picture of Scott walking the cashier. Uh, Freddy's original name was Freddy Bear. I know this, I know this, because I'm working on 150 random FNAF facts you don't need to know, and that's one of them. Ah, uh, great. What song does Freddy play for? It's the Toto March. Everyone knows that, and if you don't know that, you are not a real fan. Uh, how much does Mike Schmidt earn at the end of night five? He earns 112.5. Nope, oh, straight up just 112. I think it's 0.5 at the end of- uh, here, here's another fact that's part of the 150 facts. He gets $4 an hour, if you do the math, um, and that is actually 25 cents below minimum wage in 1983. Huh, look at me with this no- I mean 1993. Look at me with this knowledge. What gender is the main- it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes. <laughs> Dude, look at the end of skeleton! What name does Scott Cawthon give Shadow Bunny? Oh, it's- RWQ, FSF, I'm pretty sure it's this one. <laughs> yes, RW, yes, say my name. Um, and it actually changes, I think, from RWQ to RXQ or something like that. But yeah, RWQ, FSF, ASXC. I don't know, I hate that I remember that, but whatever. Which camera does Golden Freddy prefer? It's 1B. Nope, 2B. If I looked at the options more, I would have gotten that. I'm a dumb fella. Who voice Blower? It is good old Michelle Moss. Everyone knows that. Come on, give me Michelle. Oh, I don't. Just give me Blower. That's fine. What is the name? I already know this. Immortal and the Restless. Come on, Vlad and Clara. <laughs> it literally just sends you to YouTube. That's great. 20. And one of the many clips of this location, how many neighbors does the character walk? Who the frick counts? Who counts? Honestly, who counts? Who in their right mind would count? How many neighbors are left visible? <laughs> Only one, zero, two. That's not fair. I don't count that as facts. That's dumb. I hate that those are questions. 
take two points off. Instead of 30 questions, it's 20, because that's dumb. How many children need to be Philippines? Who counts? Who counts these things? You know the creator was like, <laughs> I'm really gonna stump him here. No one fucking counts. It doesn't have any lower significance. So who counts? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. 15, 17, 18, 19. Oh, baby, a triple. There you go. Stop playing videos. I don't want to get my video taken down. According to blueprints, how tall is baby? She's tall. So it's, I'm pretty sure it's seven, two or eight. I'm pretty sure it's seven, two. Yep, there we go. She is heckin' tall. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Her voice, baby. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. Come on, show me, Heather. Show that's not Heather. On which hand is fun time for it? It's the it's the right hand. I just picture the uh, the trailer. Yep, there we go. Uh, what color bow tie does Funtime Foxy wear? Bruh. Pink? None. They don't have a bow tie. They have a bow tie. They have a bow tie? They do have a bow tie. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, when Yeno is in your office, uh, what does he do? He drains your oxygen. What gender is Funtime Foxy? Male. No, it's not unknown. They are literally a male. They are literally a male. They are, a, they are referred to a male. They are referred as a male in sister location and ultimate custom night. And their voice is Joe Godette, who is a male. Last time I checked, I don't know. Might have changed. <laughs> Take that off because I don't care what you say. Funtime Foxy is a male. Take those three things off. All right. It's gone from 30 questions to 28 to 27, whatever. Back to Final Fantasy Freddy's 1 now. On which hand is Foxy's hook? From his point of view, uh, I think it's his right. Wait, I'm thinking of the Repair Foxy minigame. Yep, it's his right. Yep. Let's see, let's see. I like how one of the questions, one of the answers was, he doesn't have one. He doesn't have one? He's a pirate fox. Alright, final one. What is Freddy's path? I know this one. I don't even have to look. It's show stage, to dining room, the bathroom, then the kitchen, then the hallway, then the, the corner, and then your office. All right, let's see. Show stage, dining area, shouldn't be this one. Yep, nope, nope, add three points, 27 out of 30. Wait, no, 24 out of 27. Nailed it. I don't think I have time for one more, but uh, I don't care, I'm, I'm making it so that I have time for one more. This one says, all these should be right, smiley face. Did my research. We'll see about that, Joe Mama. How many children were killed? Did you really do your research? Because are you talking about the first incident? The five missing children's incident? In FNAF 1? Before FNAF 1? Because if you're going with the five missing children's incident, then it's five. But if you're counting the puppet and the gravestone ending, then it's six. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Gordon Freddy, the poopit. But I don't know their counting order, so. Did my research. Who killed the children and then proceeded to stuff their bodies in the suits? When you said you did research, uh, you're telling me you watched Game Theory. It's William. Who caused the bite of 87? <laughs> um, well, technically, the, b the bite of 87, we don't know. But seeing as they're the only FNAF 2 character that you can select, I'll go with Mangle. Uh, is it possible that the phone guy is the burp guy? Um, no, it's not. It It's literally impossible in the woods of Peppa Pig? It's not possible because the phone guy heckin' dies. And the purple guy doesn't heckin' die until uh, a long time after, we'll say that. What gender was the mango originally supposed to be? I see why this quiz has a 4.14 stars instead of a 5 star because it throws out questions like this. No one fucking knows, and frankly, no one fucking cares. What gender was Mango supposed to be? We'll say neither, but I don't, I don't know. Throw that question away. What year was FNAF 2 and FNAF 1 released? 2014. 14. Who's the creator of FNAF? Scott Carlin. All of the above, except there's nothing above it, so no one created FNAF. It is, in fact, just a dream. Which suit did Purple Guy, William, go into to hide, go in to hide from the children's spirits? Spring trap, except technically the suit wasn't spring trap until we William actually got inside of it, started spring locking, and then fucking died, so technically spring bonnie. Whatever. 
What was Spring Trap called before? Well, he was called a lot of stuff. Golden Bonnie, Spring Bonnie, maybe Bonnie, because there was, at the time, probably no other iterations. Actually, no, there was, because of Fredbear and Friends. What was Spring Trap called before? Golden Bonnie and Spring Bonnie are both right answers. I don't know, I guess... It doesn't... They're the same answer? Knock this one off, too. God, the, the creators of these quizzes suck. Who's the annoying animatronic in FNAF 2? LOL. Um, Bon Bon, Toy Bon, no. I mean, I guess Balloon Boy. Okay, so there's 10 questions, but we're knocking two off. So it's eight. So technically I got six out of eight. On average, Your quiz sucks, all the tests. Piece of shit. I guess you could say I know my way around a pretty fast booze pizzeria. If you know what I mean. Anyways, the only thing we learned here is that uh, people don't do their research, even if they say they did, they really didn't and just kind of watched MatPat, so, yeah, that's, that's not really evidence. It's called game theory for a reason, guys. I don't know, this was fun. We can make it into a series if you want. I just kind of had nothing else to record because I'm lonely and sad and alone, and honestly, I'm just waiting until we get more security breach news, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.